Oh, we're back. All right, yay. Oh, by the way, I'm just saying, as a precursor, I would never do this on the internet. What? After this, after this quiz. <laughs> Put your political opinion yeah. out there. All uh, right. I'm, I'm a free market, baby. Yeah. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Do you agree with that statement? Is it, I... I guess so. Okay, I'm gonna put just just agree. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Just for the record, I disagreed with that. I mean, statement. if someone hits you, then you should hit them back. <laughs> no, I just think if someone hits you, you should tell them it's like, don't do that. We're better than that. What are you gonna do? Is stop hitting you? Cause no, you're like, yeah, you take the take the armor. Just be like, what? We're not animals. Yeah, but he's already hitting you. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. So if I, so what if he just hits you once? Does that mean okay? I should. All right, this actually is really interesting. So I was reading a thread on Reddit. Right, about about what double standards in like as far as like gender and stuff like that is evident. And the whole page was how like men are getting a raw deal with all these double standards. The whole page. Even though it's like kinda of not the case of society, but you know, it's Reddit, so whatever. And then one person said it's a double standard that when a woman hits a man then uh, then it's fine, but when a man hits a woman it's a big deal and stuff like that. And then this statement, there's a lot of statements pertaining to if a woman hits a man, then she loses all rights to not being struck by men, so men can hit her hit, hit her around as much as they want. Like, didn't say that, but they're suggesting it, and then someone made the statement, well, this looks like that you guys really want an excuse to hit women. <laughs> and it totally looked like that. They're like, no, 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 women loses all her rights if she hits a man. Mm, men can hit her as much as they want. And I'm it's like, not a right to not be hit by Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So that's where I stand on the eye for eye and tooth for tooth. Just because if you strike someone, that doesn't mean you lose your rights to kind of... I mean, self-defense, yeah, sure. That, that's not the same thing. On that subject, have you noticed that there's a big ad campaign at the moment that uh, for men to speak up about domestic abuse? Yeah. If their wives are hitting I mean, I'm not saying it's not a problem. It definitely is. But. Oh, no, but like it was this statistic that was like 40% of males have like domestic abuse. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. sorry, no. <laughs> that's a horrible stat. Yeah. 40% <laughs> of domestic abuse is male. It's like, it's pretty yeah. even split of people being shit to each other. Yeah, no kidding. Whoa. Anyways, taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot su survive on a commercial basis. Yeah, I mean, it's not really my problem that your business is failing. Oh, you are horrible. Well, that's, it's not. That's a disgusting opinion. No, if I, I mean, okay, if I like a movie. I think the art should be, re should be promoted regardless. But what if I don't like the arts? Hey? What if I don't like the arts? You're an animator, so. No, I am. No, personally. Okay, no, no. Me, personally, if a movie theater that I enjoy is going out of business, then yeah, I'll support them. But a taxpayer shouldn't have to do that. With so you don't believe in government-funded art projects or anything like that? Because well, that's what they are, essentially. I, yeah, I guess. All right, so, so did you still disagree with that? Yeah, I disagree. <laughs> Gross. No, I stand by my statement. If I like movies, I, I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, schools should not make classroom... By the way, movies is a good example. They're, they're, they're saying, like, theaters, like, plays and stuff like that, museums. Oh. So, like, you know, local art projects and stuff like no, that. No, they're always terrible. Yeah. I've performed in them for ages. They're never good. <laughs> schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. No, that's stupid. Of course they should be. Can't you go to school? <laughs> like like a 12 year prison sentence? It's not prison, it's school. School doesn't do shit for me. It's where you learn things. <laughs> all people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep their own, <laughs> should have their own rights. Whoa. What do you think of that? <laughs> Hang on, maybe try to say that, that, right. that question again. <laughs> all people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. <laughs> God, why is it old people? Is there a problem with old people that no, I don't know about? it's better for all of us. That oh, all people. Yeah, all of all, us. Not like senior citizens. That has so, certain sorts of people to keep their own kind. Well, yeah, I mean the Bogans should stay with the Bogans <sighs> and the, the Divas should stay with the Divas. I wouldn't strongly disagree there. Yeah, <laughs> Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Yeah, you can hit your kid. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, that's not right. What do my parents eat? <laughs> it's like so much shit that I'm not telling my mom. Did you like, break ever. this? No. <laughs> Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. Uh, I don't know. I don't do drugs, but if you want to do marijuana, do marijuana. All right. So do you strongly agree with that? Or do you agree with that? I agree with that. I mean, do you believe that marijuana cures everything? Because no. I've got a friend on Facebook that does. <laughs> no, clearly it doesn't. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generations to find jobs. Well, no, it should teach you how to survive in the world. Cool. I like that. I like that answer. Yeah. 
They're gonna teach you how to be a rad dude. Yeah, school just teaches you how to be like not be a dickhead yeah, to people exactly. and how to do like basic basic abilities like maths and. I reckon I reckon to, to find a job like that's more focused on you getting out of school when you have to get one. <laughs> yeah, it sucked in year ten when they're like, "Hey, what are you gonna be for yeah, exactly. life?" And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. know. A marine biologist, I guess. People with serious serious inheritable disability should not be allowed to reproduce. Whoa, <laughs> uh, that's a very judge dread answer. Do you want it? Do you want a city full of Harlequin babies walking around? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. No, I guess technically I don't want them. <laughs> uh, they, they die at five minutes after birth anyway, so that's what's going to happen. Um, oh. I'm going to put strongly disagree there. I'm no. just going to assume that you... <laughs> hey, if you love someone, play on them. I don't care. Oh, man. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. <laughs> I think there are a lot more important things. Oh my god, say. that's a terrible answer. I strongly disagree. Yeah. Uh, Kids, respect your parents, but don't only respect your parents. There are no savage or civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. That's stupid. Of course there are savage people. Uh, uh, I don't agree no, with wait, that. Wait, wait. In what context is it saying? Yeah, so, so savage or civilized people. They're just different cultures. Oh, well then, yeah. I thought it was like... Because I went to a school with a guy who like fucking... Put sticks up his butt. Yeah. He was a fucking monkey man. Yeah, I think this is like this is like implying that. This is like if I go through the if jungle. You, if you find a person in the jungle and like make him grow up in like a different culture, that you won't accept it because he's a savage. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but there was a, tri a, a Aboriginal tribe in Australia in the in the desert. Yeah. That came into contact with with okay, the, the term the civilized white man in like the seventies. And they were still at like, the stick and fire stage. Yeah. And we had like cars and shit. And they walked into civilization and never turned back. And someone was like, why don't you go back to the thing? And he was like, why would we? Yeah. Like, you guys have cars and shit. <laughs> we had like a stick and we had to hunt for food. <laughs> Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. Well, uh, I mean, no. Okay. Boop. Society should support everything but theaters. <laughs> <laughs> when you are troubled, it's better not to think of it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. <laughs> That's a very pleasant girl answer. <laughs> Just take your government recommended drugs. <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? No, I disagree. If you're disagree? if you're sad, talk about being sad with someone. Yep, yeah, I reckon tech, We have tech professionals world. for a reason. Totally. Where is gonna kill launch octopus, by the way? Oh, are you gonna do it? I think lightning maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's what I reckon. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. Oh, it's awful. Of course they can be. Okay, strongly disagree. What's good for the most successful corporation is always ultimately good for us all. <laughs> I don't know if, if Coca Cola's profit margin is really good for me. <laughs> yeah, for third world countries that they're uh, monopolizing water supplies on. You're really harping on about this water shit, aren't you? What? Oh, it's disgusting, man. Anyways, I'm going to strongly disagree with we that for you. Nothing against this guy, by the way. Oh wow, so the electricity doesn't do anything? No. Can I exit out of a stage? No. Maybe you have to find his weak spot or something like I feel that. Like I totally can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, no broadcasting in in institution, however independent its content, should receive public funding. No. Oop, disagree. Alright. Page four. Oh god, there's two more pages to go. <laughs> also, you kept saying that I would never do this, but you told everyone what you were on that little grid. What? Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't have any problem saying that I'm more left leaning and more libertarian. But you wouldn't get into the specifics. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't get into the specifics. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Well, ours aren't. That's more an American thing. Yeah, all right. And with this we don't have the TSA here, we just have like... Yeah, but do you think that counter-terrorism is imputing on civil liberties in general? Yeah, well, you can't say in general, because they're different from country to country. Ours aren't, but like in America, I'm sure it is. Okay. I'm gonna feel agree. Okay. Yeah, I reckon you agree with that statement. <laughs> a significant advantage of a one-party state... 
I wonder, I wonder where this will put you if you ask her. <laughs> is that it avoids all arguments that delay progress in democratic political system. I guess technically it does. <laughs> That's not a good thing, though. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus Christ, what is he doing to me? Oh, jeez. What the fuck is... He's got sneakers. Oh, you managed to take a bit off of him. He has Nikes on, by the way. <laughs> Although that electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. No, what do you watch everyone? Yeah. What if I have one? Yeah, but yeah, but should the concern be only that? So if you're not doing anything wrong, then why are you complaining about this kind of thing? Like, do you agree with that statement? Like, what? Are you... What's it asking? Is it asking if yeah, more so, people should be so, worried? So, so official surveillance is a lot easier, but only wrongdoers need to be worried about that. Oh yeah, I guess. Okay. If I'm being one of them, I don't really care. Yeah. It's like when a cop walks by and you act all suspicious, even though yeah. you're innocent. The. the the death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. No, that's <laughs> so terrible. In civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. <laughs> what do you reckon about that? Like, uh, well, like a dog and a master? Yeah. Oh, man. I totally disagree with that, by the way. <laughs> ah. Am I done? No. Oh. Did you run okay, the quiz? Yeah. Uh, just... Uh, oh, abstract art that doesn't re represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. You use the term art in that <laughs> yeah. That's so stupid. Oh, man. I'm gonna fit strongly to If I don't like art, should it be considered art? Yes or no? In criminal ju justice, punishment should be more important than rehabil rehabilitation. Oh. I was gonna say retribution. Oh, shit, he's fucking murdering me again. So creepy. No. Oh, he's taking my health. He took all my oh, health. He, he's after you. These bosses got really hard. It's a waste of time to try and rehabilitate some criminals. Oh, that's stupid. Rehabilitate everyone. Cool. If we didn't try and re rehabilitate everyone, then Arkham Asylum wouldn't be a thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, Colton, I'm gonna try and... Alright, do it. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Yes? In what con again? In what context? Just in general, I, they provide they give you a product that some people need. So I guess technically, but writers and artists create culture. Yeah, but yeah, I know this is this is a stupid question because <laughs> do you need a bottle of water more than you need a novel? Yes. But do you drink a bottle of water in order to write a novel so you can have the joys of? Experience? That's what I mean. It's a dumb question. Yeah. Like it, it applies to both, but in different areas. Yeah. So you do you reckon that they're more important? Yeah, like a very, very soft, yeah. very literal sense, they're more important. Mothers may have careers, but the first duty is to be homemakers. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. Yeah, man. As, a, as a child of a predominantly single father, no. <laughs> Multinational companies are, unethics, are, are, are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Well, like they were all into like a third world country and take all the resources. Yeah, like Coke is going to their own country and monopolize their water. It all supply. comes back to Coke. <laughs> it's a real thing, people. Look it up. Wake up, sheep all. So, do you reckon that's it? That's happening? Oh, no, I guess so. Okay. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta close your eyes to that shit. <laughs> do you disagree with that statement? <laughs> Growing up is accepting that nothing will ever change. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. You got through that, okay? You'll find... <laughs> if you got through that, okay, you'll find these propositions on religion a breeze. Oh, boy. Astrology accurate, accurately explains many oh, things. Fuck off. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why is that a question? You cannot be moral without being religious. You totally can. <laughs> I, I know not to fucking punch a baby. Oh, you got to tell me that. Clarity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. What does that mean? So, having an understanding of things work rather than being rich is like, it's better to help people who are disadvantaged. So if you know the way the world is versus if you have resources. No, I guess you need So that. like, what would you rather have? Good advice or like, a, like money? Well, I mean money because they need help. Yeah, but... Yeah, okay, so I'll put agree there. Yeah. Some people are naturally unlucky. 
No, it's stupid. <laughs> it is important that my child's school instills religious values. <laughs> oh, no. As a, as a public school boy, no. <laughs> Finally, let's look at sex. Oh, cool. <clears throat> sex outside of ma marriage is usually immoral. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, only, I'm gonna, only I'm, gonna the, I'm gonna put the opposite to that response because yeah. I'm detecting a sense of, sense of sarcasm. Okay, there. A little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> a same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Yeah. I could like answer all of these for you. <laughs> <laughs> Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for ad for the adult population. Wait, is it illegal now? I can buy <laughs> porn at the fucking gas station if I wanted to. Yeah. So it should uh, it should it be that way though? Yeah, of course it should be. <laughs> but do you want to ban face sitting? <laughs> <laughs> I do want to ban face sitting. What an immoral act. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. <laughs> Cool. Wait, the state? Yeah. I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> of course not. Oh, man. I would Uncle, Uncle fucking Sam care what I do to my missus. No one can feel naturally homosexual. That's stupid. Of course you can. <laughs> if you like boners, you like boners. There's no hiding that. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. Nope. <laughs> I don't think it's gone far enough, like, I'll uh, be honest with you. I'll talk about sex. Like, the fact that it's still a taboo subject is ridiculous. I'm like, it's things that people do. I mean, what? have been doing it for thousands of years. Now, let's see where you stand. I think you, like, roughly stand where I stand. But more government prone. <laughs> oh, wow. You mean that graph? Yeah, so you are a lot more right-leaning than I am. I yeah! You're, so you're about the same libertarian. I'm a, I'm a right -tarian. Yeah. So you're, like, nearly right in the middle. Yeah, I'm like right on the line, aren't I? Yeah, 0 0.5 off. What does that mean? Does that give me a little stat or anything? Um... Was all this pointless? No, not really. I mean... You can see where your position plots against other UK parties in the <gasps> 2015 general election. Mine was like right on the Greens. Oh, uh, so you're just more like right-leaning towards the Greens. I mean, you know one. <laughs> kind of depressing. I'm like all by myself down the bottom there. <laughs> It's like, it's weird, you like people, but you also like corporations. What's going on? No, no, you're against corporations. Oh, wait, no, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's it. So you have conservative values, but... I got a lot of problems with those questions. All of them are, like, out of context. <laughs> or needed more context. <laughs> no, shit. So I wouldn't even call you right leaning. You're, you're moderate. You're moderate. Moderate libertarian. I always just vote for who I think is going to do a good job. Well, yeah, no, of course that. People who vote. I don't. For I don't vote for, for my political ideology. Like I've always party. identified as left, but I don't think I've ever voted labor. People, yeah, people always vote for the same party. It just baffles yeah. me. Like, what if they're doing a bad job? How do we get to that? I want it. Oh yeah, That's a good question. That's a good question. Now Maybe you go up, up and around. Yeah, I'll try that. Oh man. Anyways, back to the game. Hey guys, do you hate well, me? Well, that, that, that was the last two, two episodes of content, at least. <laughs> do you guys hate me yet? <laughs> I'm sure half of you do. No. Whoa. I mean, no. Everybody should be okay, because if 50% are right-leaning, 50% are left-leaning, they're like, no, you know what, it's all right. It's <laughs> true. Because you're like right in the middle. <laughs> I I can't. I'll be like Ronald Reagan, check out with everyone. <laughs> no, wait, I mean Gorbachev. Ow, shit. So ISIS has, has, has declared they're going to attack Russia. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna work out for them. Yeah, everyone's like, okay, good luck. <laughs> hey, Russia, have fun stomping ISIS. Uh, I think Vladimir Putin said something like, if, uh, if um, if there's ever attack on Russia on like on Russian soil, then um, all Muslim, then uh, I'll see to it that all Muslims are dead within the span of 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's a really thin nuke threat. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh wow. I'm like, don't do it, ISIS. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> they have so many nukes. Have you seen Dr. Strangelove? No, I haven't. It's a fantastic film about uh, nuclear bombs. And uh, they have this... Isn't Dr. Strangelove uh, Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh, wait, oh. that's Dr. Strange. God damn don't it. Don't worry about it. No, I know what Dr. Strangelove is. That's the black and white movie with the guy running on a nuclear bomb. By Kubrick. Yeah. Kubrick. I just realized this dude's in a machine. He isn't. Fucking creepy this is. No! Oh! No. 
Oh. You're hitting him. He's so fucking creepy. I don't like him at all. I, I think he's cool. Oh. <laughs> he knows your attack pattern. He's learning. Oh my god. Is that a Isn't that a thing on a uh, Bio Freaks in a Nintendo 64 game? I think it's a Nintendo 64 or PS1. That the last boss reads your inputs as you fight it. Wait, really? Yeah. That's awful. Yeah, and it combats, combats that. It's so creepy. Too. It's like Psycho Mantis in, um, in Metal Gear Solid 1. He'll like read your memory card. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll be like, ah, oh, yes, Castlevania. <laughs> That's really You're cool. You're like, how? <laughs> you know how to beat him? Did you have to like unplug your controller and plug it into the next slot? Yeah, you gotta plug in your second controller. And, otherwise, you can't hit him. It's super crazy. For the time, I imagine it was mind blowing. Oh, man, you would get it. Did we beat that armadillo guy? No. He oh. Didn't. It was very hard. The timer's going off. Oh, shit. Man. God damn this. We, we, we can have a whole week of no one being yeah. dead. I have to practice off screen some of these yeah. dudes. Jesus Christ. Oh my oh, god. Oh man. Do you want to give him a go? Uh, I'll give the armadillo guy a go. You reckon we can beat him? Well, this episode's over, so. Alright. Next week we might be able to beat him. Yep. Bye, guys. Yeah. Sorry for our politics. <laughs>